Uh, interesting collection of motorcycles, uh, Harley, uh, Honda engine custom with diamond encrusted clock. Oh, that's interesting. Beautiful. What was the significance of this motorbike? It's an absolute labor of love. I there mean, are so many hours of work. <laughs> There's no history beyond someone spending an ungodly amount of time and money to build an engineering masterpiece. It is absolutely perfect and beautiful in, in, in its execution. It's a work of art. It really is. An absolute yeah, work it's of beautiful. art. Beautiful. Uh, we have an interesting array of motorcycles here. Okay. Uh, these custom Harley Davidsons. They are all. Um, uh, a portion of which are donated to the Love Ride organization. Now, you we, know, the, the Love Ride's happening tomorrow. So, do you have, with all the bikers coming in, do they come in here and oh, look for the next bike? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we'll, uh, we, we work in conjunction with them. We, we do a lot of cross marketing with, uh, with those guys. They support us, we support them. And uh, we'll be uh, selling three motorcycles and some artwork to, uh, to benefit that, that organization. For them. Which motorcycles? Are they out here? Uh, they're actually just outside. I'll okay. show you them if you, if you wish. Okay. Uh, we'll go down this way. This gets interesting. You're welcome, no problem. Very, very welcome. This array of cars here in this corner uh, are owned by Bruce Willis. They were brought ah. to us. He's, uh, he's um, filling out his collection. He has quite a substantial collection of cars. Uh, Chevy Nomad, 57 Corvette. Which is a good reason why they have Idaho plates. Exactly. The uh, Shelby GT500, quite a rare car. That's a uh, rare one. He repainted it, restored it in the, uh, in the green, um, together with the Dodge Charger here, so he can actually reenact his own bullet scenes if he wishes. Uh, slightly modified car, it's got 570 horsepower, a bit reworked interior, upgraded suspension. Um, and and uh, and braking system and everything very much more of a modern modern piece than uh, than uh, standard. Now they look mainly like show cars. Is that what they? No, he drives them. Did he? He drove them absolutely. And the Dodge Charger has 700 horsepower and goes like. Steak. <laughs> I, can, I can attest to that. Um, interesting. Someone asked me once. Uh, so why would Bruce Willis take such a beautiful classic car and modify it? And my only response is because that's the way Bruce Willis wanted it. That's a good reason why. Yeah. And then uh, a couple of other 67 Corvette and, the, uh, and then the Firebird. Now these have nothing here to do with Bruce. Oh, actually, these, these are Bruce, Bruce Willis's. Willis's. Yeah, these are Bruce Willis's. Oh, nice job on that vet. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, this is beautiful. Vet, so it's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. This is on the stage over here, the blue bike. Uh, has an enormous amount of history to it. Uh, Martin Dickerson was a Bonneville Salt Flats uh, racer. Back in the day, that's a 1948 bike that held an awful lot of records and, uh, and a great deal of, uh, of uh, interest back in the day. And that was brought to us. And this, that's valued this, about four to five hundred thousand dollars. This bike right here? It is quite sweet. So we should see some action on that tomorrow. Four to five hundred thousand. That's pretty Good nice. Bike. In the Providence? 1948, Marty Dickerson, he was a uh, Bonneville Salt Flats racer. Um, worked on. There's a famous Come photograph. Come on, you think you can tell me what? There's a famous photograph of a uh, of a gentleman <laughs> who was trying to break the speed limit on a Triumph, and in order to shed weight, got undressed and did it in nothing more than his underwear. Uh, and did they have pictures of that? And they have pictures of that. And Marty Dickerson was actually the guy on the wrenches for that bike, so he was he was out there a lot, dragging as much speed out of anything that he could, and that was uh, that was his Vincent. Fastest Vincent of the day, over 140 miles an hour so in 1948. After he stopped racing, this has basically been garage the entire time. It yeah. has, but it was it's restored some years ago. It looks but it's really definitely got some nice patina to it. I don't think it, yeah. it was. It stayed in in a glass cabinet in someone's living room. I think that it was. Uh, I think that it was used. Yeah. Now I'm looking at this this Indian right here. I mean, mm -hmm. did they ever ride? <laughs> Absolutely. That's actually a replica. A couple of these are replicas. No, no wonder why it looks so good. Of board track races from the uh, from the back in the teens and the twenties. So uh, yeah, they they were ridden. They were ridden very very quickly too, considering no brakes and and the kind of. Uh, How fast did they go? Oh, they would see a hundred miles an hour. Yeah, no. with no brakes. No brakes. No a hundred miles an hour. Guts and glory. Oh boy, that yeah. is guts and glory. On uh, on wood, so if you fell down, you you get splinters. 
more than road rash. Uh, uh, that's when uh, the real man, <laughs> right? Real men, real men, absolutely. Wow. Did you want to pop outside and see the Love Road bikes? Yes. Yeah. Interesting, the Ray MV Augusta and a couple of Ducatis here for sale. Um, this is a very special. Uh, NCR is the racing division, of, essentially the racing division of, uh, of Ducati. Um, as raced and, and signed, I should say, by Cook Nielsen. That actually has never turned a wheel. It's a 2007 bike. Wow. That's one of my favorites, just because I like to ride it. And here's some photographs uh, depicting the Love Ride uh, from past years. Uh, from, uh, from Ken, the photographer, um, and three motorcycles that will be it's sold to benefit the Love Ride organization. Uh, fairly regular 98 Harley Davidson in some lovely color scheme. Uh, a very lovely old 1959 uh, Harley Davidson there. And uh, this is a very interesting bike. The organizer, the original organizer of the Love Ride, is a gentleman by the name of Oliver Shoku who owns Glendale Harley-Davidson. and That's why they start there. <laughs> absolutely. And uh, this is actually a twin-engined Harley-Davidson. We call it the Siamese. And uh, he just went through the timing lights out in, uh, in Bonneville uh, a couple of months ago at 165 miles an hour holding onto that. Wow, you know yeah. that's fast. You really need a helmet. There's no windshield on that. <laughs> no, that's kind of scary. Whew. And there's no, um, what do they call those, sissy bars? <laughs> Stabilizers <laughs> and airbags, I okay, think. Excuse yeah. me. <laughs> the, uh, no, it's, it's uh, you're holding onto a gas tank and yeah. going as fast as you can. Holding on for dear love. Very and cool. And that's it. That's our offering. Wow. Nice auction. Thank you. Very nice auction. <laughs>